I decided to create a really professional title for this blog post and YouTube video, how to create scrolly text on your Squarespace or show it website. All right, let's get started. So first of all, there's a couple different ways we can achieve this and there's a lot of different looks. So this one has it kind of writing like a typewriter. This one is also kind of like a typewriter sort of vibe. So I will put the codes for this in the blog post for you to copy. Um, and then maybe I'll add some other fun little scrolly text codes that you could use and try out. So let's start with Squarespace. Um, you just simply need to go into your Squarespace website, right? Just like normal and hover over the section in which you want to add the text, edit, and then you go up and create a code block. You can drag it exactly where you want. And then you just need to copy and paste this code. So obviously you do not want accounting and bookkeeper for small businesses, probably. So make sure you change that out. Um, but if you just copy it and add it right into the space, then you'll be in luck. Okay, so you might be thinking now, well, that didn't work. We need to go over to custom CSS panel. So you do that by going to design, custom CSS, and I have some custom CSS in here, so just ignore it. And you're just gonna copy and paste the next little bit of code that will be in the blog post. So I would put that in. So I'm just gonna scroll down enter and you'll just paste it and so when you paste the code um, that i provided there are things that you can manipulate in the code to change like the cursor from being pink to being whatever your brand color is so go ahead and find the hex code of your brand color that you want to use and then if you scroll down a little bit in that code look for the part that says right border um and then where it says border color right here, this is what I would change to have my brand color. Um, and that will change that little, that little arrow. Or if you just want like white, you could just do F, 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 F. Um, And then, I mean, there's different parts that you can manipulate. You can play around with this. Um, don't worry about messing things up. You can always fix it. So this, the font size is 25. If you want it bigger, you just obviously change that to be bigger. Um, can, yeah, like I said, mess around with it, um, have fun with it, but that is how you do it in Squarespace. Okay. So then in show it, you'll go to the page that you want to add the code. Um, I have it in the headers. So if you put it in your header, anytime that has those like, um, stripes, I guess, vertical, or, you know, diagonal stripes, it is a canvas. So if you make this change, it's going to happen on multiple pages, which that's my header. So that's what I wanted. Uh, and you just can go edit header and add a code block, which is down here. Embed code. It'll look like that. And again, this is just a super long code that you will be paste, copy and pasting in. So if you paste it in, you'll see that it comes up. Um, there's a lot of, again, manipulation that you can do to that code. So if we go into it, I will show you a little bit about um, how I can manipulate it. So first of all, font family, change that to whatever your font is um, that hopefully you've uploaded to your show it website. Or if you're just using a basic one, just change it to whatever that basic font is. Um, I have a font that's uploaded, so I changed it to that title. And then I also added the URL of that show it um, code. So again, if this is like super confusing, um, you can delete that little part, but I'm guessing you're using some type of custom font for your website. And so that's where you would change that. And then this right here uh, is where you change the file. So to get the, the file, the WOFF file or whatever, you go to design setting, oh, sorry, not design settings, media library. Um, ooh, I don't know if I'll even be able to find my, uh, font in here. But if you upload your font to here, uh, you will just use this one as an example. So if this was the font that I was using, I would take that 
little thing and that would copy the link and then I could go in and change out that. You'll just make sure that you also change the font family, otherwise it needs to match. So I don't remember what I titled this particular font. Maybe tomato soup. Oh, I don't think that worked, but okay. So that's what you would do. And then scrolling down, we are wanting, if you wanna change any colors, that's where you do it right there. Again, make sure that you change Tanez light to your font. Um, and then this right here is where you're changing out the different uh, text that you want. So if you just wanted one word, um, kind of like the Squarespace example, then you could just get rid of these other things. Just delete that and just keep it as whatever it is. Um, website designer, and then you can click save. And I messed with it because of the font situation. But um, that would be allowing you to just have one. Otherwise, just make sure you go in and you change all that to have the whatever you want. So I have four options here. If you want to add more, you can, again, just um, copy what is above it and go enter and insert it right there. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any other show it, Squarespace code questions, I'm not an expert, but I do know some basic stuff and I would love to help you out.